Hi, my name is Ari Shinazaki. I am the SVP of Product Engineering here at Netria. And today I'm going to talk about our modernization strategies, particularly for our ITIM product, uh, mostly to give you some of our motivation and uh, some of the directions we're exploring. Firstly, motivation. Um, what we see with our customers, yourselves, as well as uh, I've seen with businesses before I I uh, was at Netrio, is that uh, every business increasingly has opportunities to be at the core a digital business. Um, and even if the product and service itself isn't particularly digital, um, the nature in which customers find the product or you deliver the service, um, you know, it depends on a pretty elaborate chain of technology and uh, essentially the technology has to operate uh, for the business to make money. It becomes a, increasingly uh, intertwined with the business operating at all. We also see that the organizations are just facing an explosion of uh, technology in, in its forms and how it's implemented and everyone that needs to be involved in order for it to operate successfully. And um, you'll have seen this slide also in the APM presentation. It really applies to everything that we do at Netrio around helping businesses figure out what's working, what's not, and narrowing uh, you know, our ability to find uh, the issue, fix it. So when we think about modernization at Netrio, um, it has to help us enable a, a wide range of important goals. You know, our, our current platform, the ITM pl IM platform, um, has a number of really rich features. It's got this appliance structure, which is very val valuable in terms of helping our customers implement quickly, uh, add security to the application itself. And, um, you know, we're pretty proud of our features around discovery and onboarding in particular, managing alarms and incidents. And, um, you know, we handle a, a remarkably diverse range of uh, things that we monitor, um, a high degree of configurability and how the monitoring is done, the, the scale and scope. And the features themselves have really evolved with, you know, many years of work with companies that are deeply, you know, concerned about operating their IT infrastructure, their networks, and a lot of the features have that mindset, you know, built in through many years of experience. When we think about modernization, it's really to enable, you know, expanded user experiences, being able to extend the platform into uh, other technology areas, a link to other technologies, uh, allows to do uh, what I call more dynamic scalability, um, increase ways that we're going to handle new types of resources, particularly what we term ephemeral resources, resources that are unlike, um, you know, a piece of hardware. Uh, they come and go um, sometimes very quickly. Serverless is a good example. And there's uh, lots of opportunities to add intelligence, uh, machine learning of all forms, you know, um, deep AI uh, obviously is an area of interest to us. But there's a lot of ways to add intelligence that uh, we would like to explore and frankly make uh, more powerful in our platform. And of course, there's lots of new forms of telemetry that uh, we'd like to be able to uh, bring into the platform. So modernization really enables us to do, the, do these things you know, better, faster, uh, deeper. Um, when we think about the platform values that we want modernization to um, you know, be part of uh, uh, to help us uh, do, you know, again, uh, more effectively, the scale of how our customers can manage, you know, many resources, tens if not hundreds of other resources, you know, but uh, uh, with uh, just a few people uh, being able to keep on top of things, obviously be cost effective, uh, no matter how we're monitoring or how we're deployed to monitor, be it monitoring things that are IoT or cloud-based, be it that uh, our product itself is deployed in, let's say, cloud or hybrid mode. 
um, it's important for us to have really pragmatic ways to identify what's going on, the incidents, and, and be extensible to monitor almost anything uh, over time. And there's many other areas that you know, we think about when we think about modernization and think about the value, uh, the return, if you will, uh, to do a modernization effort, all of these things are uh, important. If that as to our platform values, you know, we will evaluate it. But, you know, modernization doesn't come without challenges. One of the things that we oftentimes say is, you know, don't break something that works, but you have to modify that, particularly with software. You don't ever want to break anything, but it is important for us to consider um you know um sometimes improving what works so a couple of areas we're looking at so uh there's a need for some of our key what we'll call key value components one example is discovery and onboarding really allow our users and automations and other things like that to really access and you know um, you know configure the structure add information to the structure. So uh, in the area of discovery onboarding, for example, we're looking at where we need to broaden our APIs so that both our, our own systems as well as external parties can essentially be part of the discovery process more effectively, um, be able to more quickly plug in new forms of discovery, particularly when um, things aren't discoverable directly from a network. and. Um, We'd like to make the whole discovery process itself behave more like a service so uh, we as well as uh, other parties can call upon it to do so. Another area that we're looking at is um, when we add new technology uh, that it readily integrates into um, some of our business processes, incident management being probably first and foremost. Again, it's to organize the APIs into incident management so we can more readily add new sources of alarms, other events, um, and then uh, you know uh, add data that can help us better correlate incidents to um, sort of a, an existing incident, package them, if you will. We definitely want to be able to figure out how we add and um, yeah, even have uh, external parties be able to uh, access the algorithmic, what we call algorithmic correlations uh, within our systems. And then, um, you know, we want to be able to enable other processes, future machine learning or uh, AI type uh, uh, models to come through those incidents and, uh, you know, figure out which ones are in some ways potentially um, you know, more important or learn from past instances so that we can identify more quickly new ones. Um, the other aspect that we're trying to look at is look at some of the key jobs, like how we store time series and things like that, and find ways to modernize them through um, isolating them, separating them out, if you will, from their specific implementation detail. And part of that, again, is to find ways to put Things like you know a data access layer um, provide sort of um, technology neutral or technology independent ways to uh, query the data again you know through our own systems as well as um, through third party integrations and APIs. So we're looking to find ways that we can do that. It helps us both extend the power of the uh, things like uh, the data access layers or the data storage layers. But it also allows us to, you know, uh, switch or change the basis of technology, um, but um, uh, isolating or, uh, frankly, Im improving how we can uh, improve those technologies uh, with uh, least disruption to uh, yourselves, the customer. Finally, you know, one of the things that we are, uh, you know, have started already to look at and our building plans in 2024 to you know, start building uh, these services is you know start to build into our existing uh, product uh, some common services some hooks if you will so that we can bring in uh, you know uh, modernized 
new forms of how you do processing using technology that doesn't exist in the existing stack, but do in a way that the existing core um, can continue to do the work it does well. Uh, allow things like you know, discovery, onboarding, incident management uh, as a matter of highlighting here. Like, uh, allow them to be a part of um, new forms of data flowing in, new analyses that are done on top of the um, system. Um, but allow those um, enhanced you know, performance, those new capabilities to uh, live side by side with the existing core, not disrupt it, but you know, be able to integrate it. And so that's the kind of uh, technological and architectural uh, mechanisms that you know, we are um, considering how to add. And you know, we actually are starting some um, architectural work to enable that. As we start looking at those new opportunities, and those are sort of the, what I call the purple bits in the other diagram, you know, it really is in service of um, new value adds that we can do. So uh, simple examples might be open the use of open telemetry to get more telemetry data in, different ways to do uh, what I call al algorithmic correlation, particularly for things which are not necessarily discoverable only through a network. Um, there's a lot of integrations of both third party and other um, kinds of tool sets um, that we want to be able to enable and make it more plug and play. So there's a lot of methods that we're looking at that we may need to add to our technology stack, um, adding event streaming like Kafka or Pulsar, uh, modifying or improving some of our APIs to be um, GraphQL oriented, um, putting a service mesh at uh, somewhere in the core of our engine so that we can add um, new processes, um, new services, um, but orchestrated, you know, by um, by Kubernetes and then um, mediated by a service mesh. So there's a lot of different technologies we're looking at. Um, obviously, over the next couple of years, it'll be more of a journey. Uh, and we want to do this in a way, as I said before, that uh, provides value, lets us bring these technologies in and add performance in some of these new areas, but not at the risk of disrupting the core or you know putting um, uh, at risk the solid operations of the systems that we have today. So I first said, you know, if it works, don't break it. But I think the for modernization, really the overriding theme is, you know, we we all search uh, for ways to leave a place better than we found it. And uh, um, having lived in Vermont for my childhood and uh, backpacking things like, you know, the um, the long trail in Vermont, there was always an adage we had whenever we uh, camped and stayed at a lean-to or um, someplace out in the out in the forest is um, always pack up and clean up the place and fix things. Always leave the place better than you found it. And when it comes to a platform like uh, Natrio's ITIM, you know we think it's a great place to work. It's a great place to provide value for you, our customers. And uh, you know my goal and my team's goal, uh, looking forward for the next couple of years, is really uh, can you make it a better place a better, uh, perform better, um, so that it solves problems for you. So thank you very much. Hopefully that was interesting, and hopefully it gives you a little insight on the kind of things we're looking at.